Hi. Hello. I hope I didn't bite off more than I could chew. I have a lot of just play figures to open. I just have been, you know, building these up. I've always wanted to open them. I have this awesome new set from PJ Mask. I don't I never saw anything about this and I just saw it in the store and I don't know who what's his name Armadillon is. All I know is I saw him and he is so cute. So I had to pick him up. And then I've been wanting to do these masked PJ Max fi mask figures for so long because they have those really cool visors. And I waited and I waited for them to show up in Canada and they didn't. And I waited. And then one day I saw them and then Muppet babies. There's four of these figures that I have that I really want to open. Hey, Luna. And then, I mean, there's Lion Guard, and I have so much Doc McStuffin to open. And I also have, what else? I have vehicles. The, oh, and the, and the Flugels. Man, I wanted to open those for so long. I think those are so cute and so cool. I have cars for them. I have Paw Patrol cars. I have... Of Doc McStuffin cars, and I decided that I probably should do in a different opening. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna get going and uh, start opening these. I hope the live is working today. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I did get a like, and I see at least one person in the room. Nobody gets notifications anymore. Whoa, 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 but does it matter? Oh, no. I don't want to break my awesome new toys. Okay, so I just have it organized here. I have to make sure I find some scissors. Make sure I have some glasses so I can read and see things up close. Hey, Speech Fairies. Hey, Luna to Luna's to Toy Box. Hey, Gracia. I also have my collection of opened figures here. I was really confused because I couldn't find a Sophia, but I guess I didn't buy the Sophias because I already have some Sophias. Uh, okay, I have to clean up just a little bit. Here's three of my favorite PJ Masks characters. That's 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 Owlette when she's not Owlette, and here's Gecko Boy when he's just in his pajamas. And here's Catboy when he's just in his pajamas. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I didn't show you this giant box of Doc McStuffins. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to open up all of these sets, too. There's so many of them in here. I guess I could have did just an epic Doc McStuffin open opening, but... I don't know. You do what you got to do. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do right now is open up the set that I'm most excited for. And that is the one with Armadillon in it. This set. But for me to do that, I kind of have to clear some space. At least you got an overview of the toys that I am going to be opening. And this epic figure opening... Move some Doc McStuffin sets out of the way. Move the line guard out of the way. Those flugels I really want to open. Are the flugels still on television? Do you guys watch the flugels? I don't even know what network that was on. Is Sophia the First still on television? Is Jake and the Pirates still on television? I don't know the answers to any of these questions. I just like the toys. Okay, we've got a little bit of desk space cleared up now. Can you please give me a shout out, please, please? Grazia is in the house, or Gracia. McGrath. It's a great name you have. Gracia. I hope I pronounced it properly. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, 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 my friends keep falling. Where is he? Okay, here we go. Armadillo. So check out this box. It looks like it comes with a surfboard or a skateboard for Catboy, which is kind of weird, but I'll take it. That's cool. And it says new accessories inside. That would be that skateboard. And Armadillo and Gecko Boy. Now, the other sets that you could get were Cat Boy and the Robot, which I saw in the store. And then you could get Owlet and Howler, but I didn't see that one. I already have Howler, though. I got him and the Robot in a multi-pack. Hey, hey, Kathy Brown Sugar. Thanks for stopping in. Scissors. Let's just get to the armadillo already. Look at him. He is so cool. Look at him. He's got a tail. He's got a tail, and he's all armored up. And his legs move like this, and his arms move. Like this, his head moves. Arr! He is cute. Look at his smile and his ears, and his eyebrows, and that emblem, I guess, on his chest. Oh, yeah, it's an armadillo. Oh, man, he is cool. He's got scaly skin. He is like, he's a big boy, because he's like as tall... As Catboy is. See how he's see how he's quite tall. And then I have another gecko. I already have a few geckos, but like I said, he is my favorite PJ Mask character. So well, I mean after Night Ninja. But he's my favorite of the good guys. So cute. Such a little cutie. And then they gave you a cool new accessory, which is a, I get, I assume this is a cat boy skateboard. Let's put, I forget the real names. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to call cat boy, cat boy. And the wheels are functioning. So that's awesome. There's a peg for him to step into. Awesome. He's skateboarding in his pajamas. Cute. Adorable. All right. What else do I want to open? Oh. Okay. Can we open up one of this? Since um, I already got a gecko and I just did a cat boy, let's open up Owlette with a visor. And look at that cool gem accessories. I'm excited about her. Hi, Kathy. I love you. Thank you for saying that. All right. The helmet, the gems, and this cool backpack. And she always gets a telescope. Come on, come on. It's Super Moon Adventure is what the name of these is. New Moon Heroes. And then that is what they look like on the back of the package when they have all of their stuff. I love them so much. I love their accessories. So I believe that they are color different. They are. She's got darker boots on this time and darker gloves. And then... Whoa, whoa, this awesome helmet. See, there's a place for her ears, and the visor looks like it glows. So they came out in another series right before this one, 
and they had helmets, but they didn't have these special visors. Like the visors were built in. These ones are movable, and I just thought they were so cool. Awesome. So cool, so cool, so cool, so cool, so cool. And then to top it all off, She's got this like crystal shield that is beautiful. And she can hold that in her hand like so. Oh man, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. And then this backpack, which has a button on it. Snap that on the back of her neck. And then, oh, I think I have it upside down. I think it doesn't go around her neck. I think it goes around her waist. Because it would make more sense if it was a jet pack. Can, can you see it? To blast her into outer space. Oh, this set is awesome. And this telescope, which I do have a version of this before, but it's definitely in different colors. And it's such a nice telescope. Oh, yeah. She can spot Luna Girl with that. Does Luna Girl live on the moon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the back of the package? Am I putting these backpacks on right? I am. Oh, that's weird. The backpack was different in the prototype. See how she's got things going over her shoulders? That doesn't happen with this one. No. Oh. Okay, let's move on. Really cool. Let's open up um, some Muppet Babies. Let's open up this Muppet Baby, because I don't know who this Muppet Baby is. She's a new character she wasn't around when I was a kid. Her name is Posable. No, it's not. That's what she has. Her name is Summer Penguin. She's still cute, even though I don't know who she is. Where are my scissors? Scissors, 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 scissors. Scissors. Giraffe scissors today. And in these single carded sets, you can get four sets. You can get Summer Penguin, and you can get Kermit, and Fozzie, and Miss Piggy. I'm really sad that you can't get the other ones. Animal and Gonzo. And yeah, that's who we're missing. And I would say that they are two of my favorites. So I'm sad that they didn't make those. Um, I can't open this up. Come on, Summer Penguin, get out of here. Summer Penguin. I think they probably just call her Summer. This is really cute. It's an easel, and there's a picture of animal on it, and there's lots of scribbles, and then there's a mirror. Can you see yourself in the mirror? You see yourself? See yourself? Awesome. That really does look like something I would have seen in the Muppet Baby cartoon. Muppet Babies can we come true when you think it's kind of weird you wish that you were there all right legs move together arms move individually they're not ball joints they just go up and down and all around and the head goes back and forth and she is pretty cute i have to admit she looks like a baby muppet she looks like she's got a full diaper she looks really really cute hey booby
Did you just get a notification now? So let's stick her next to the easel and the telescope. Whoa. Hmm, now what do we open? Let's open up one of these Disney Junior. First of all, let me see if I can find my other Sophia. Here we go. Here's Sophia. I just play Sophia. I'm going to bring her in here. I don't know. They made different they made different characters. When um Sophia used to be made by a different toy company. So I don't know which ones are just play. Pretty sure she's just play too. And then they would have come with pets. Whoa. Thought she was gonna be able to stand on her tail. We got this cute little mermaid girl. She's really cute too. But she can't stand up. I guess that's kind of a problem being a mermaid. You can only stand in water. So I have a few pets in here, but I don't know which ones are the right pets. And I don't want to risk it. All right. I don't want to tell you one toy is a just play toy, and it's not a just play toy. Okay, so I'm going to open up um, one of these ones. Maybe it says on the back. On the back it shows Sophia and a bunny, and I really regret not getting that one. And the only reason I didn't get it was because I already had Sophia, and I already had the bunny. And I was trying not to buy everything, but I wish I would have got the whole set. So I got Princess Amber and Griffin is who we're opening now. And this is Griffin, and I love Griffins. Griffins are my favorite type of dog. I mentioned that yesterday. And here is what Princess Amber looks like. She's really cute. Look at her sparkly crown. Wow, that's sparkly. Cute. Let's put that there. And then... Oh. And it comes with this fan. I really like princesses and castle stuff. And I assume I can stick that in her hand. Double-sided? It is. So she can hold that in her hand, which looks great because it can get some. It can get hot in the castle in the summertime. All right. All right. Let's break into the world of flugels. Like I said, I have their spaceships. So I have these three characters again, each with their own spaceship. I got it in the Toys R Us in the states before it shut down. These did not come to Canada. I was really, really upset, and then. I found them at Toys R Us in the United States, and then the Toys R Us in the United States started shutting down, but then these sets were like the only thing that was left in the store. So I think that means that people don't like the Flugels. But I don't care, because I really like the Flugels. Hi, Heather. Okay, one's name is Boomer, and one's name is Fleeker, and one named, one's name is Flo. Boober, which is funny, because isn't... Oh, Boomer. Because isn't a Muppet baby's name Boober? At least that's the name I heard when I was a kid. I love Just Play Toys. Uh, mm. So this is Flo. She's really super adorable. 
I assume Flo is a girl. And she has this really awesome, cool iPad. I love that. And she can put that in her hand. I think she can hold it in both hands. Can she? That would be so cool. That would be awesome. That would look so cool. Oh, it looks so cool. She's looking at it. She's playing. Oh, she's studying it. She's seeing things. And how does her legs? Her legs move individually. They don't go back, but they go forward. And the arm and the head goes all the way around. And the arms are on ball joints, so they can go up and around. Cute. So cute. Wow, so many little friends already. Okay, this is going okay. I guess the video is going to end with, like, a major Doc McStuffin opening, because I got I to gotta finish opening all my Doc McStuffins. Oh, no, I already forgot their names. Green guy's name is Boomer. It's a standby so I can see. So, Boomer, and dressed like Gecko. I think they're going to be friends together. I'm getting ready to eat dinner, but I'll be back later, guys. And Jason, okay, Heather, don't eat too much. I mean, eat lots. I always eat a lot for dinner. He looks so... Oh, whoa! Cute. My best angle going on here. I could get the basic Aquaman figure with the orange gold armor today and the trident, but bent in the package at my store. Oh, you'll find him again. Don't worry, Batsy. That guy's cute. I think that him and Gecko are going to be real good friends. Oh, I didn't show you what his accessory was. This awesome backpack. And it's got over-the-shoulder stuff. Like, they're perfect scale, too. Like, uh, it looked like um, Owlette was supposed to have on her set. I don't know how to put this on, though. I guess you kind of just have to you turn his head to the side or you have to bend the straps a bit. They are very flexible. Okay, there you go. You just got to really like bend it. It seems like it's a very safe plastic. So that's cool. What a cute little backpack. Oh man, that's an awesome figure. I love flugels even more now. And the last flugel is Fleeker. And this is what Fleeker looks like. And he is in Owlette's colors. Real cool. I think he can be Owlette's boyfriend. And he comes with some kind of... Plunger... Pogo stick gun kind of thing. I don't know what that thing does, but it's really cute. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for your likes, guys. Um, who? Oh, yeah, I was going to put him next to Where did Catboy go? Oh, I didn't even open a Catboy yet. I mean, Owlette yet. Oh, there's an Owlette. Owlette's head looks huge. Oh, it's because she's got that helmet on. Look, they're both ready for space. They're so perfect to open together because... <laughs> the, the PJ Masks guys are going to go into outer space and meet the Flugels. We are the Flugels. Cute, cute, cute. I love that the scale is the same. I love that they can be played with together. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa. I need a bigger table. I know I keep talking about this. It's going to happen. Hopefully next month. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Who are we opening? Who are we opening next? How about um, how about some Doc McStuffin? Let's let's bring her into the mix here. 
I've got two two deluxe Darkmoon stuff in sets. I've got her as an optometrist right here. So she wants to be an eye doctor at one point. I don't know how she gets to be so many kinds of doctors. And then here she's a dentist. <laughs> What is up with Doc McStuffin and all of her doctorate, doctorate degrees? Look at the cute back of her card. Look at that cute little drawing that she has there on the back wall. Do you think that's a professional medical poster? All right. And here is the girl Doc McStuffins. Look super cute oh she's got kind of she's got Polly Pocket type clothes does she fit into scale with the rest of these kids no she's a little bit older it looks like but I think she probably wants to take care of them and uh, pretend she's a doctor and I, I think that you know she could get sued for uh, under a malpractice suit because I don't think she's old enough to be a real doctor She's a little different from the rest of these figures because all of her clothes fall off. Even her shoes can come off. So this is kind of this is kind of a whole different thing. And her clothes are rubber. And you can change them. Oh, and I keep dropping her shoes and stuff. But she's pretty cool. Do you know what that thing around her neck is called? And can she stand? Oh, she can stand on her own. And then Bra Bra Bront Bronte. Oh, Bronte makes sense because Bronte is a Brontosaurus. And that's what he looks like. And he is a static figure. He's made really well and he's really cute. Let's set him down there. And... Oh, a book, stinky, salami breath-itis. Stinky, salami breath-itis is what uh, it seems Bronte has. This book is awesome because you never see this. It has a mechanical hinge, so it snaps closed, and it's not going to break and wear out. I love a mechanical hinge on a toy. That's a really cute book. Okay. What else do we got in here? We got the dental chair. There's a tooth on the back of it. That's a really, really nice chair, but not everyone's going to be able to sit in here. A lot of these guys have tails. Let's put... Gecko Boy in pajamas into the dentist chair. Awesome. He fits there really well. I'm getting Armadillon's way. Armadillon's one of the m major guests of today's episode. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. He's just going to sit in there. Um, That book looks like a laptop. It does look like a laptop. But it, I swear it's a book. Do you know how I know? Because it's got a heart written on it that way. Oh my goodness, such amazing detail. Oh. They got this swing around flower lamp and it's got all of this stuff on here. So a shelf full of supplies. And then it's got that sink that you spit in. Do you see there's like a toothbrush there and some hearts on the top? And there's the little faucet and the faucet tap turns. You can turn it on and off. This is so nice. That is cute. And that's going to be useful because Armadillon can stand on that.
And there's all these other little accessories. There's a little cup for rinsing. It's a little, little deformed there. Let's put that in somebody's hand. Who wants to hold the cup? I think Alette does. Can she hold it? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Always dropping things. I think she can hold it. She can totally hold it. Oh, it's pink like she is. That's really cool. So we can interchange the fun with these sets. And then there's three other amazing accessories. You know what? Today in the in the mail I got some dental floss. I ordered some from Amazon with some toys. It's kind of funny that we have some dental floss. Let's give Sophia this toothbrush. I'll let her I'll let her show you what that toothbrush looks like and she's going to brush her teeth with it. She's looking at it like she doesn't know what to do with it. I don't know if princesses have to brush their own teeth. And then there's this tube of toothpaste. And I bet it has a heart on it somewhere. No, it has a Band-Aid on it. That's kind of some Doc McStuffins signature. Those are really cute accessories. You can definitely have a lot of fun with those. I mean, how many toy tooth, how many toy dental flosses really exist out there? That's exactly what my dental floss container looked like, too. Okay. I guess I'm just going to throw this stuff on the floor and make a mess. Um, you guys can shout out things that you want to open up. But I guess I'm going to turn to Mrs. Piggy. Mrs. Piggy. Miss Piggy right now. Or just Piggy. I guess she's not a miss yet because she's a baby. My big baby, I can be true. When you think it's kind of weird, wish that you were face down. Just close your eyes and make believe you can be anywhere else. My baby, 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 All right, and then here is Piggy. Look at her. Hey, Liam, thanks for stopping in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's cute. And she's and she sounds like this. And. Oh, oh, oh. Her legs were stiff. They just needed some bending. And her head moves, and her arms do move just around. These ones don't have ball joints again. But she's cute, and she can sit in the chair if she wants. Let's sit her in the dentist chair. Yeah, she fits there good. And for some reason, she comes with this giant cake. And I love cake, and... Who doesn't love cake? Cake is delicious, but I try not to eat it. Cute. Who wants to stand on the cake? Doc McStuffin? Oh, Doc is standing on the cake. Do you see that? Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Standing on the cake. Whew. Okay, let's open up another one of these PJ Mask in Space sets. It looks so awesome. So let's do that. Yeah, Miss Piggy is kind of violent. She's not always the nicest girl. I don't know how she acts in the new cartoon. But she used to go, hi -ya! And she used to hit people all the time. Oh, 
complete sets come with so so many cool accessories. He's really tied in here. Oh, wow. I wonder if Alette had another accessory that I I missed because... Oh, she had a telescope. That's right. I already knew that. So she has the most accessories, to tell you the truth. The biggest ones. Okay, so they made Catboy look a little different, too, by giving him lighter gloves and feet. I think it's true. Let me take a look here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the difference between... Oh! Just caught Armadillo and Armadillo fell off of the sink. I guess he shouldn't be standing on top of the dental counter. I'm a Dylan. Oh, I guess they did make them. Well, they just made them a different color blue. See, that's the new one with the shiny blue matching feet and hands. And that's what the old one looks like. So he's got some special space suit on, probably. And he looks really, really cute. And wait till you see. Oh, oh. His helmet has paint on it. And it has a visor. Let me stick that on his head. And do you know what also is cool about his helmet? Do you see those two little fangs above his eyes? So two little cat teeth, which is cool. And then the movable visor is awesome. I love that. Visor down, visor up. Visor down, visor up. So cool. And then he's got this awesome backpack, jet pack. It looks just like Owl Girls. And you press it, and you see how it lights up, and then he blasts off. Awesome, 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 awesome. Lights, 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 lights. And then he's got this, his own iPad. You can see all kinds of stuff on it. And he can hold that in his hand. And then he's got this, I don't know, this smoothie to go. He's got a space cup. You know what? This is probably not a cup to drink out of. It's probably a flashlight to go this direction. I thought it was a cup. It doesn't really make sense that he would carry a cup, so he's carrying this flashlight around. That's what it's got to be, right? So cute. Let's put him down here. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we only have one Lion Guard set to open. I have lots of Lion Guard figures here, too, I can show you at the end of the video if you still want to see them. Let me show you those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See all of these guys. And then I have some other Lion Guard sets that I have buried under there in a box. But because I already have all of the characters, I think I might just keep them in package. But this set, I don't have this guy. See the guy I'm missing? The vulture? Yeah, I don't have a vulture. So I want to get a vulture. Who Gonzo? Gonzo? Gonzo is this guy right here with the big nose. Do you think Gonzo isn't 
an aardvark or an anteater? Do you think Gonzo is an anteater? He must be an anteater. He's the guy with the two feathers coming out of the top of his head. That's why. I don't think I ever really did find out who Gonzo was. All right. So here is the Lion Guard set that we're opening. It is Fooly and Mizgo. Minzgo. Mzingo. 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 I just don't know how to open it. And it talks to you too, which I'll show you in a second. Look at this kid. Look at him flexing. Look at him flexing and speaking. I'm not sure it was ever addressed exactly who Gonzo was. I think he might have been like some kind of weird space alien creature. I already have this figure. But this one doesn't have an action figure, action feature, and this one does. She runs. Isn't she bad? Is she a bad a bad person? Or a bad kitty? Packages are hard to open sometimes. Okay. So, um, Zingo, Mazingo, looks really cranky and bad, no articulation, looks like a very, very, very bad baby. How you play, Pixies? No, she is a good one. Okay, this guy's got to be bad, though. I guess I just think that her face looks cranky. And then there's this thing, which it's like, it's supposed to be like your Lion Guard palm mark tattoo. Let's see if it can fit. Oh, Let's see if I can fit it on my arm. I can't get it on. Wait. Okay, it doesn't reach. Can't get a good place for it to to stay. Oh, okay. All right. Whoa. So it's it it's it's a tattoo and it sings. Is it in a? Is it? In, oh. <laughs> is it in a preview mode? I don't know. Anyway, it glows, and oh man, I knocked over all my new friends. Oh dear. Okay. All right, I just gotta calm down, relax, clean everything up. We're gonna be good. We've got we've got a lot of toys going on here, so no wonder all this stuff happened. 
<laughs> Throw it in the trash. No way. It's really cute. It just doesn't fit on my... Oh, it does have a different mode. Okay, so that's off. That's really cool. So you can put it on and you can dance around if you just have smaller biceps. But thanks for your likes anyway. Okay. Woo. Woo. So many sets. Let's open up another Doc McStuffin set. This one where she is the eye doctor, the optometrist. And there were only two sets. You get the one that we opened before, or you could get this set. And then this disease that she's looking up is glasses gonitis. And there's a very sad looking Lammy right there. And it's the same kind of mechanical book. So that's cool. That's very cool. And... In this instance, she's got a very long coat on, and her pants don't come off, but she also has the same, oh no, oh yeah, she's got, what is that thing around her neck called? I like, I like these. Oh, and look, she's got a little tooth on that jacket, and then this one, she's got... Something. I have to take off that elastic. Oh. She's got a pair of gla glasses on her t-shirt. Poor armadillo keeps falling down. The rubbery clothes are really cool, though. So you can, like, take them off like real clothes, but they're made of rubber. You can mix and match her outfits. And, oh, and she's got blue removable shoes in this figure. And then, this is what the eye doctor chair looks like. It's all pink and hearty. Let's sit. Oh, Guess who wears glasses? Owlette wears glasses. She can sit down here and relax at the optometrist. She's just sit there. She's sitting there in the chair. That's awesome. And here is Lammy, a cute little stagnant figure, and she's like giggling with her hands on her face. So cute. It is a stethoscope. It's exactly what it's called. This is armadillo. And then, oh, this is the cutest little eye chart I ever did see. Can you recognize what those animals are? First animal is a whale. The second animal is a giraffe. The third animal is a elephant. The fourth animal is a... Oh, I can't see. It's too small. Um, 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 hippopotamus? The fifth animal is a... I don't know. It's a crocodile or an alligator. 
And the sixth animal is a penguin. My eyesight's not good. I can't see the animals. And the set one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh animal is a. Did you say snake? And eighth is a fishy. And oh, they're getting so small. And the ninth is a bumblebee. I think that's a bumblebee. And then the last one is so small, I can't. Is that a ladybug? Did you get all those animals right? Whoa. Well, my eyesight isn't that good at all. Okay. Woo! Look at this. This is so cool. So here is the counter from the optometrist. You can see there's all kinds of glasses on the shelf, and there's Doc McStuffin's signature Band-Aid. And so you can stare, store stuff there. But can you also take this and swing it around? Whoa, whoa. So the person in their chair can get their eyes set up properly when look through the thing what did they say same different no change better worse unchanged better worse unchanged i saw that in a tv show all right okay oh now what can you sit up here properly come on you're gonna hold it yourself okay let's um let's tidy up here a little bit okay Good, good, good. There's lots more accessories here. We've got a box of tissues. It's really cute. And then, hey, thanks for your likes, guys. I love your likes, and I love you. My optometrist has a purple counter as well. What? I've never seen a purple counter before anywhere. What did I do with Lammy? Oh, there's Lammy. There is a pair of glasses in here. Oh, you know what I do when I get glasses in a playset? I always got to try them on. Oh, I look cute in these. These are great for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, they look good on me. Let's see if Lammy can wear those. <laughs> um, whoa. She kind of can. They do fit on her face, but they don't exactly stay on her face. Maybe, maybe you could balance them. Did somebody like dislike my video? What a what a mean person. And uh, Doc McStuffin, can she wear them? She can put them on, but again, they don't stay on. Oh, no, they don't stay on. Maybe we can put them on Catboy. Maybe they would stay on Catboy. No, no, they can't really stay on anybody, but anybody can wear them. <laughs> he looks funny with those on. They can go into the counter. It still was fun trying them on. Um, okay. And then I guess these are eye drops. So that's a really cool bottle of eye drops. My hands are really dry. I should be moisturizing. And then, and then it comes with a spoon. What? You know what? I think if I don't, whoa. 
maybe that's not a spoon. Maybe that's one of those things that you look in, but usually they're not flat like that. I don't know. If you know, maybe you, oh, maybe that's something to cover up one eye while you look at the other one. I don't know. I've never been to the eye doctor before. Hey, Liam, welcome back. Now who do we open? Let's open up Kermit the Frog. How about Kermit the Frog? No, yeah. I sure hope they make the other figures in this set. An eye scooper. I hope it's not an eye scooper. He is so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And I think his legs move together. Yeah. All of these legs move together. But his arms can go out. Oh, no, his arms don't go out. Not in the series. Not in the Muppet Babies. They just go around. And his head can twist. And what is on his shirt? Did he spill something on his shirt, or is that a logo of some sort? It doesn't matter. He still looks cute. Let's stand him here next to Piggy, because Piggy is his girlfriend. And what is this? What's going on here? The banjo is on a stand. Does that actually happen? I've never seen a banjo that was attached to a stand before, or is that just so the pieces aren't so small that you'll lose them? And then he can just stand behind the banjo stand and play banjo. That's cute. So cute. So cute. We're sure opening a lot of cute things today, aren't we? I don't know the pawn song. Do I know the pawn song? I'll stay green. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know who this is. I'm opening up a Sophia figure. And her name is Princess Amber and Griffin. Oh, whoops. No, that's not it. Um, Princess Hilgard and Lulu. Is Lulu a ferret? Is that what Lulu is? Aren't ferrets stinky? Oh, my goodness. She's really cute, though. But I think that is a white ferret. All the Doc McStuffins have fallen over. I guess I shouldn't pick up the figures because they're probably just going to fall over again. Hilgard is the mean girl, if you remember, if I remember right. Um, when I start, when I watched the first episode of Sophia, I Amber was mean, but I think Amber turned into a good sister afterwards. But Hilgard is quite the name. I do like her name, but she could be a mean girl. She doesn't look mean though. She looks sweet and cute. I really like her princess gown. And she also comes with, if I can squeeze it into her hand, bear with me, perfume, comes with this really cute perfume bottle, I guess that's the back of it, it says China on the back, and then that would be the detail on the front, and you squeeze that little ball, squirt, 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 squirt and you just put perfume on yourself. I don't know if they still make perfume bottles like that. Amber is so, so cute. This, this little blonde thing. 
You mean Amber with their little fan? Woo! Woo! All right. We got to send more of the PJ Masks guys into space. We have the last one. We have Gecko. Can't wait to see what kind of accessories he has in here. No. I struggle with opening these packages again. Um, it says Gecko's name is PJ. Uh, Gecko's name in PJ Mask is spelled the same as Night Ninja. J June one J one N one Gecko. What? Liam, I know you've asked me to read that comment, but I don't know what that says. That comment isn't easy to read. The J1N1 is a Japanese medium bomber. Oh my goodness. And is it called a gecko? Look at all of his harnesses. He looks quite different. Here, let me get this other one. So you can see how spaced up he is. Look at his mischievous eyebrows. And then, okay. He comes with a flashlight, too. It's the same accessory. I did not expect that. That's kind of a surprise to me. That's the first time they ever did that. And then he has a shield. He's the first one not to have an iPad, but he's got this really stony, really cool textured shield. Mm -hmm. And then his jetpack looks like this, and I'll clip that onto his waist, like so. You can blast off, press the button. And whoa, his helmet is totally different. What? So his helmet is extra, extra thin. The other ones were so thick you weren't able to bend them like that. But it still has the visor and it still has the spikes on his head. I guess... I, I don't know why his helmet is so much smaller. I guess maybe because he is so tiny, because he's just the littlest one, that it would be way too big for his head if it was a thicker helmet. Very interesting. But again, the visor goes up, visor goes down. Visor goes up, visor goes down. I love the visor. He is all decked out and ready for outer space. He looks so cool. Geckos don't have spikes. Well, this one does. I think they do. I think they've got a little texture maybe, on their head. Some some lizards do. All right. Love these. And Armadillon. Who hasn't seen Armadillon yet? Armadillon is awesome. Enjoy your dinner, Kathy. Kathy's wishing you a good dinner. Who's having dinner? Before I came to make this video, I gobbled down some dinner. I'm opening Fozzie right now, by the way. 
Fozzie Bear, the Muppet Baby. Here he is. He grows up to be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> that is what he looks like. His head turns, his arms turn, and his legs move together. They're stuck. Oh. I like his little cargo shorts. They're cute. His arms. He's got a little propeller beanie on. Head moves. He's really cute. Hey, Nino. Look how cute that is. And then he's got this really awesome bow and arrow, but the arrow is shaped like a chicken. I thought Gonzo was the one that had all the chickens. I guess chickens are part of um, a comedy act, I think. Oh, and he can hold it into this hand like this. So there he goes, shooting his chicken bow and arrow that is with a suction cup beak. So I don't think it's a real chicken because real chickens don't have suction cups or be beaks. That must be her speaking. Did you really think you were faster than me? Not a chance. I got the bed. Shut up from the get go. That's why I am faster than you know. Don't be the with the pack. I got my own back. I think the blood I'm making. I know where to take it. I go. Cute. All right, let's, um, all that I have left, well, I have my collections that I can show you, but besides them, I still have all of these Dog McStuffin sets. There's so many pets inside, so let's take a look at what we have. You just want to move out of the way or anything? No? No? Anybody? You want to clear any room for all the animals? You don't? You don't want to help out? They don't want to help out. All right. All right, they're just going to stay. So here's a weird set that I found this at a thrift store, but it was still in the package. And the thing is, I thought I had all of the sets in this size. Oh, but apparently I don't because I don't have any of those. I would love to have that snowman and that blowfish. I would love to have that cow and that puppy. And I would love to have that night figure. I don't know. Maybe I will have some of those. But we are getting Xyla, a ladybug xylophone, and we're getting Stuffy, but I think we already have a lot of Stuffies. Well, I guess Stuffy and Bronte are different, because Bronte's a brontosaurus. All right, I think Stuffy's one of the most popular characters. I see some articulation on him. The legs do move. The arms, I don't know if they're actually supposed to move or not, to tell you the truth. Um, the wings, is that an action feature? The wings kind of move. They're spring-loaded, but I don't see an action button or anything. Maybe it's just how they go. Cute, cute little dinosaur with wings, though. Or I guess it's a dragon, right? Dragons and dinosaurs are like the same thing. Stuffy's a brave dragon. Stuffy the brave dragon. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here's a Xyla. Xyla's cool. Xyla, the ladybug xylophone. And you know what's really cool about her? Is that she's got a loose screw. That's so funny. And her wheels don't turn. But she's cute. 
I thought I had some blind bags. I guess I did. Do I open them and put them somewhere? Do I have a Doc McStuffin collection somewhere that I don't remember? I'm going to have to look for that later. Okay, so the next set we have Stuffy and Rhonda. Is Rhonda the name of the helicopter? And in this series, this series I definitely have all of them. So I have... Oh, so I do have the Blowfish. And I really like that radio, which is called Millie. So I'm going to try to open up all of those together right now. Maybe that's my confusion. Maybe that's what I thought I had. This tail. Flat, flat Titus. See, they made some more of these books, but this is a piece of cardboard, so that one's not something I'm going to keep. All right. Really cool helicopter. That looks awesome. Whew. That's Millie. Wait, I hope I got that. I hope I remember that name correctly. And then we've got a smaller version of the dragon, of Draggy. And there's no movement on this one. This is a baby Draggy. And then... It looks like we've got some bandages. So I have to figure out where they go. And... You put them on the helicopter? The helicopter has a bad... The helicopter has a sick propeller. Is that what that's for? <laughs> and then... And then this... This is for a broken dragon tail. What? <laughs> oh, that dog McStuffin. That little girl. She's a, she's a quack. All right, next up. We have to finish off the, these little art sets. Yep, here's another one. Inside this one, we have Overheat, Overheat Epotamus. And its name is... Hallie and Squeakers. Hallie, yeah. Hallie and Squeakers. Squeakers. S-Q-U-E-A-K. Yeah, Squeakers. And I guess Squeakers is the name of the blowfish. And there's some accessories in there that we'll take a look at, too. Good night, Kathy. Thanks for your likes. Thanks for stopping by. You guys are the best. All right, so luckily we did get the blowfish. This is Squeakers, and um, Squeakers is bigger than I thought. You can't squeeze Squeakers. Look at the mouth-nose thing. Like Squeakers, though. Let's put Squeakers near the sink. And here's that hippopotamus. And it looks like she works in a diner. I think that's what happens. Here, over here. Oh, 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 she has to lay down. She's not feeling well. Overheat Apotamus includes two get better accessories. And the two get better accessories are, I believe this is a doctor's bag, if I'm not mistaken. And then, whoa, overheat apotamus. So it does make sense that we get a bottle of water. That's perfect. So the hippo has to replenish her fluids. 
because she's been working too hard. And then the last of this collection, of this set of three, we get Lammy and Millie. Oh, wait, I called, I called the helicopter Millie, didn't I? Does he make a noise? Do you mean me? No, none of these figures make any noises. Let me show you the accessories first. We get a little cast with a heart on it. And then, of course, we get a screwdriver. That makes so much sense because if you're going to fix a CD player, you're going to need a screwdriver. Look, it's a karaoke machine. And you know what? That microphone comes out. I just know it does. Or does it? It doesn't come out. Oh, I almost broke it. It looks like it comes out, but it doesn't. That's really cool. It's a karaoke machine. And it's Millie. You have to sing into it. I didn't hit that note. And here's Lammy again. And she's in a dancing pose. And let's put the cast on her foot. She's been dancing too much. And now she is injured. Wait, can you put that cast in her hand too? No, I think it's for her foot. Poor thing. Poor thing was dancing too much. All right, we still have more Dog McStuffin to open, though. Any other Just Play around here? Like I said, I have a lot more Just Play. I've got a huge collection of Just Play vehicles. So I've got, um, uh, ooh, Doc, 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 right here. Dock in a helicopter, and I've got um, all of the Fugles, that's what they're called, and they all have their own individual spaceship, and then I've got cars for all of the PJ Mask villains and good guys. So that video will be coming up one day. I'm surprising that this video wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be here for four hours opening all these toys. I mean, I still got lots more to open. It looks like we have what? I have three more Doc McStuffins to open. What? But these sets are good, at least for the animals, even though we already have a Lammy. How many Lammies? How many Lammies does one doctor need? I hope she doesn't, like, keep uh, destroying Lammy by, like, cutting her open. and Because I know that she's, I don't know. I, I, I think Doc McStuffin really has to worry about malpractice. Because I don't think she's old enough to practice medicine. And this is the outfit that she's in this time. So she comes again with the overcoat. And again, with the, what's that thing around her neck called? Um, yeah, she's got the leggings on and the overcoat that's attached one piece. And a sparkly bandana. Oh, it looks like her bandana is always purple, even though her lab coat can change color. A stethoscope. That's exactly what it's called. And then here we have Lammy again. Do, 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 do. you guys know how to spell? Steph, 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 Steph scope. And Lammy in a different pose. At least Lammy is always in a different pose. Let's see. Lots of Lammies. Dance in Lammies. Dance, dance in Lammies. Dance in Lammies. Dance, dance. Oh, yes, yes, we're going to have a whole library because these sets come with real books. And this is Jam on a Lamb-itis. Jam on a Lamb-itosis. 
jam on a lamb mitosis. Oh, this is why she has so many lammies. She does rip them apart. Oh my goodness. She, poor, poor lammy. Oh my goodness. And it's the mechanical book again, not the cardboard ones. So those are going to look so good, all stacked up on a bookshelf. They're all different medical books. And then, you know what? We haven't seen any of these... Uh, these um, instruments. What do you call? Doctor's tools. We've got a thermometer. We've got something that I don't know what it is. Do you know what that it is? It's like this ball on the end of a... I don't know what that is. And then we've got one of those things that you look into your ears and nose with. Do you know what that's called? Let's move on. This set is the Eye Doctor Hootsboro. Hootsboro. That's what it says the name is. And then you can see the other two sets that we are opening. Oh, and because this is an eye doctor, we are getting some of the same things that we got in the larger eye doctor set. But they're a bit different. The book, for instance, is turned to the page where it has blurry staritis. So it seems like Owly here can't see very well. I like our book collection. And here is the smart little graduating owl now. I guess she just graduated from university. And here is our other Doc McStuffin, and she is exactly the same as the Eye Doctor one. So we got the same Eye Doctor one. She's exactly the same. And she comes with eye drops. Love that translucent bottle. Really cute. And she also comes with an eyeball scoop, just like the last set of eye stuff. And then these are different glasses. Let me try these ones on. Well, you can see one eye. can't get it right. I can't. <sighs> this one is so small, it's hard to do. They're teeny tiny little glasses. I can't get the right angle without getting my finger in the way. But I think you get the gist. Oh yeah, one eye. I'm wearing it like a monocle. They're very fancy. Let's see if they can fit and stay on somebody. They actually can because... I was wondering why the owl had holes in the side of its head. Poor little owl. And that is so we can put these really cute translucent glasses on her and they'll stay. Right, that was a really fun set. And then this is the last set, and it has a shark in it, because sharks have teeth. So it looks like we're getting another duplicate figure, because we already opened up a dentist set, so we're getting the same dentist. <laughs> Poor
poor, poor Lammy. Poor, poor Lammy. Oh, wait a minute. It's different. Yes. So, one of the dentists have a purple shirt, and one have a green shirt, and one have green pants, and one have green purple pants, and then one has white shoes, and one has green shoes. So, the same, but different. Two dentists, two tooths. So, that's cool. At least they're not exactly the same. Oh, and finally, she has a different colored bandana. She always has a purple sparkly bandana and this one she has or hair thing. I don't know what those things are called. Hair band. Hair band. And then loose, loose toothatosis and you can see a picture of the shark. Those drawings are so cute. And again, mechanical hinged book. Love that. How many books do I have? One, two, three, four, five books. Wonder how they would look on a bookshelf. Let me see. They're all the same color. This light purple, light purple, almost pink. And they also kind of look like those medical clipboards. So you can line them all up on the shelf like a book. Then you can see them from this side with the clip on them. We have a stack of books. She's got a stack of medical books. Maybe I shouldn't underestimate her. Maybe she does know what she's doing if she reads them all. And here is Sharky with that very scary toothy grin. Never trust a shark, even though... I don't know. I've seen some people dive with sharks, and they've been very nice. I think sharks sometimes get a bad rap, but they do bite people. So what's that all about? And then, let's see. Where did I put all those dentalist accessories? You guys see where I put my dental floss? Did I drop it on the ground? Screwdriver. Oh, no. Dental floss. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Because I want to see. Yes, it's in different colors. And what did I do with the toothpaste? Wait till you see the stuff I have, guys. This is great. Okay, so I got another toothbrush. And that, of course, is in the same color. Oh, no, it's in a different color. Whoa. So it's different from the one that we got in the other set. And then this is the tooth dental floss that we got. And this was the dental floss we had before. So we got that in two different colors. That's sweet. And then this is the toothpaste we got. What did I do with the other one? Oh, it's right here. So we have those. We have two toothpastes in different colors. So I guess they're different flavors. So that's awesome. And here is something that I really think is awesome. Doc McStuffin. Out of all of the sets that we've got, we've got all of these matching tools. So she's got all this dental and, and medical equipment that all matches and goes together. That's really cool. And then she's got a lot of she's got a lot of eye drops. So those are cool. And then and then she's got this odd toothbrush that doesn't match the rest of the tools, but that's okay. I really do like this collection of medical supplies. So many medical supplies. Okay, I totally underestimated her. She's totally prepared. Oh, there's even more. Wow. 
Wow. So many awesome things. Did you have a favorite toy here? I guess I probably shouldn't show you the rest of my collections. Or I guess I could do it really quickly. I'll definitely have to show you, oh, this robot guy from PJ Mask. And, oh no. Oh, I have a big mess on the ground. And then I have, you know, I have Catboy. It's just the regular. And then I've got a couple Luna girls. Oh, she's cute. Oh, yeah, Howler. Oh, he's so cute. So cute and so bad. Look at his feet. And then... Here's Howler's friends. They're so bad and so cute, too. And then this guy. This guy is so bad. His name, his name's Romeo. Kermit was my fave, and and um Armadillon, Armadillon, and and Lammy. Oh, you liked Lammy, did you? Where's Armadillon? Oh yeah, here's Armadillon. Armadillon again. So cute that guy. Hey, if you're watching this video and give it a like, it give it a like. Give it a like. Thank you. And then okay. Who else is in here that we haven't seen? These are all the same characters. Oh, my very, very, very favorite character, Night Ninja, because he looks so cranky. Oh, he's so cranky. What a cranky baby. He is a cranky baby, but he looks so cool and so cute and sparkly. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have Lion Guard toys, where there's all kinds of very mean looking guys. He must be a friend of this guy's. And I don't, their names are so hard for me to remember. But we got this hippo. Cute. Look, there's that tattoo. And then we got a good grandpa monkey. Cute. And then. We got Miss Piggy. Oh, no, that's somebody else. Really cute. And then we got Daddy Lion, who has, oh, he can do some running. He dances, dancing, dancing Daddy Lion. Yep, cool. And we got this Leap and Lemur guy. I don't remember his name either. And we got this, oh, this something badger guy, and he's cute. He's plump. He's cute. Oh, and here's the star of the show himself, right here. Here he is. Cute. Real cute. And... Here's another version of the kitty that we opened today. But without the the gimmick joints. And then we have this stork crane. I don't know what kind of bird you call this, but it's awesome. Whew. Oh, yes, yeah, the telescope different? Yes, the telescope is painted a different color. For space telescope and the telescope we had from the big set. All right, guys. Whew. I'm exhausted. I opened up so many cute toys. Come back and let me know. You can leave a comment on the video and let me know which ones I should take pictures of and put on Instagram. You can look at all of my cute little pictures on Instagram at Too Hunky, just Too Hunky. And yeah, and if you want to see more Just Play things, I have a lot more Just Play, especially vehicles. Um, all these guys have some cars and vehicles that they need to drive. So if you want to see me do a big opening of all those, let me know. Um, I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Thank you for all your likes. You guys are the best. I love your likes. I love you.